companies nationally and globally have come to Australia to run trials, undertake research and development activities, and launch their emerging aviation technologies. This is in part due to the practical approach CASA uses as the foundation of their regulatory framework. In our approach in working with industry, we've really tried to develop a regulatory framework that's flexible. Um, and we've really um, worked closely with industry as they've tried to mature and evolve and innovate in this space. So it's fair to say CAS is not a rigid regulator in the sense that we are prepared to consider and work with operators around new applications and, and new operations. So the value for Eve in in launching operations early in, in Australia is that we think that CASA and the aviation system in Australia is really well regarded around the world and will give other countries confidence in developing the ecosystem for urban air mobility. Yeah, I think we have a really great opportunity, particularly in new or next generation uh, air mobility research and development uh, to really have a significant role. We have a a burgeoning but also mature supply chain and we have really great research in Australia. We have solid fundamental research in a lot of the bricks that are necessary in the aerospace sector. We also just have really practical benefits like Australia's geography, our population densities and even our really good weather. That it creates an environment that's really easy for companies to come here and, and try out these new technologies. CASA has developed a regulatory approach that allows innovation and growth in the RPAS sector by providing a pathway for companies to demonstrate to CASA the safety of their technologies. We don't really see uh, regulation as a barrier. We see it as an opportunity to prove ourselves. And I think CASA have been very pragmatic in that they're open-minded and willing to say, hey, here's the safety requirement. We're happy for you to prove to us in whichever way you would like to try that your system is safe. And we find that is a really powerful tool. So essentially, CASA said to Wang, and is saying to other companies in the space, if you can operate at this high level of safety, we can work with you on how to achieve the permissions in which to operate. That mindset was really important for a company like ours in investing in R&D, investing in hiring people here and teams here and opening sites. We felt safe and secure in making an investment like that over many, many years um, in working with an agency like CASA. To actively support the growing remotely piloted aircraft systems and advanced air mobility industries while keeping Australian skies safe, there needs to be a forward-thinking approach to regulation. We realise that uh, we need to act now. We need to act now to be, uh, keep up with pace and, and the expectation of, of the industry. Uh, we were world leading, we, we did set those rules, uh, the first of type in, in the world, um, but things have changed and uh, new technologies like advanced air mobility are on the horizon. So what that means is that we need to go away and look at our regulations and standards and, and say, well, what do we need to adjust here to enable those technologies and those industries to, 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 to grow and flourish for the best interest of Australians. CASA will continue to work with industry to provide a pathway for safe testing of RPAS and AAM so that the Australian people can be confident in the future of aviation. CASA have put together a really good roadmap for how they see integration of AAM generally and integration of further drones into the airspace. So we, uh, throughout a number of years, we've had a number of different people in the company working on the working groups, um, helping formulate uh, what that roadmap looks like and the things that they need to invest in and where industry can help them uh, on that journey. Uh, which has been really, really good to see that industry engagement. Australia has a really strong reputation in terms of new and emerging aviation technology. And we've seen really great progress made on drones um, over the last few years. And so we have a real opportunity working with CASA to capitalise on that for urban air mobility and see the same uh, great progress and, and leadership globally on, on this area um, as we've seen with drones over the last few years. I think there's so many ways still that we'll see in new ways that people use these technologies that we just haven't even thought of yet. And I find that really exciting. Find out more on our website.